Have Robin and uh, Philomena already gone to bed? No, they're staying at Philomena's cousins. Oh, I was hoping to say hello to them. I gathered we needed privacy. Yes, that's probably a good idea. I want to tell you that I don't think this is going to accomplish anything. Why don't you wait and hear what I have to say first? I'm waiting. In the first place, I have no intention of standing in your way. What are you talking about, Camellia? Duke loves you, not me. It's been perfectly clear ever since I came to Port Charles that Duke loves you, not me. Is that what you came here to tell me? I think it's pretty obvious how he feels. I just... I just wanted to clear the air about our relationship. Not hold anything back. Well, you certainly haven't done that. You told me that you slept again. I'm sorry that I told you that. That's not the point. You should have told me that. Anna, please don't blame Duke. Don't blame him. Listen to me here. I'm still very confused about that time. I don't know if we slept together or not. I just, I just know that I was in love with Duke. And I probably still am. But he loves you, not me. It, it was a week out of our lives over four years ago. And the night that I found out that he was my brother was... It was so awful that... I'm sorry. I'm not angry at you, Camelia. I pity you. I just want the truth. And I had expected that from Duke. What truth? I can't live in the dark. Or with secrets. And I don't want to hear things from you that I should hear from Duke. Duke was only protecting me. From what? You had a breakdown because you found out he was your brother. No, Anna, that is not the only secret. There is something more. There is something so horrible that I can't even remember it. Huh. Another secret. It's just no end to them, is there? So he hasn't told you either? No. Anna, believe me, if I knew anything else about that night, I would tell you. If we could just clear the air, I, you and Duke could get back together again. Oh. Well. As he has no intention of sharing that part of his life with me, and I can't live with lies and secrets, then I don't see how we could possibly get back together. Hello? Morning, Sean. Oh, good morning. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you how you are on the phone. I uh, think I'll ask you how you are over lunch today. Oh, Sean. Oh, great. It's a date, then. No. Not if it's to talk about getting back with Duke. I don't know how much more final I can be about that. Particularly since I've discovered he has another secret for me that there's just no use. Whether we have lunch or not, we are going to meet today. And that's an order from your old WSB boss, Anna. All right. I'll come by the warehouse later on. Will that do? Certainly will. See you later. Time to get to the airport to catch my flight back to Lorient. There's even time for you to pack. Come home with me, Camille. This is my home now. You'd be making a terrible mistake if you stay here. My future is here. A future that can only bring you and others more heartache. What kind of a future is that, my dear? Well, if that's what living in the real world brings me again, then I'll accept it. Because I'm not getting 
giving up on life again. I'm not. From this moment on, we live only in the present. Yeah. I mean the present. My mother loved That's the line I remember. It's for us now. What is it? Love is not love which alters when it alterations fight. Love me. Just for us. A love is one true. I think we'll alter that now. You are right, my love. Love. That's what tonight is for. about two months ago. And I like, took her lease under an anonymous name, of course. Really? Why anonymous? In case a certain lady wanted it that way. I even remember the exact date. When was it? About two days after we met. I took a drive and I, I saw the sign. So I took a look. And I said to myself, this is for Anna Devane. Hey, Duke. Duke, oh. Hi, ah, I'm sorry. What can I do for you, Sean? I'd like you to come up to my office for a little talk. Okay, I'll just get the manifest to do that. Oh, no, I won't worry about that. I'm not going to discuss business. If this is about Anna, I... Yes, it is. I appreciate what you're doing. I don't want any more questions. There are going to be more questions, my friend. This time I aim to get some answers. See you in a couple minutes. Sir. You have a beautiful home in Lorient. He's there just waiting for you. And I know that someone else will come into your life. I know it. In the first place, the house isn't mine. Well, of course it is. Your father left it to you. Angus was not my father. Now that... That is Abigail talk and I don't want to go into it. Angus knew you were his daughter. He raised you as his daughter. And as his daughter, you're going to come into a most comfortable inheritance one day quite soon. Oh, when you get down to it, you raised me, not Angus. I helped raise you, yes. And there are times I think of you as the child I never had. Everything I'm trying to say to you comes from love. Is it love to keep me from the real secret of Orleans? I've told you before, I don't know of any secrets. I, I have to know why I had a breakdown. Oh, I've always told you you were a very delicate child. But I know now that I wasn't. Something terrible must have happened, which I have completely blocked out of my mind. I know nothing about it. Nothing at all. This secret has to be dreadful. Well, you can't know that, Camelia. I do. Well, why? I mean, what in the world do you have to base that on? You know, I really worry about your state of mind, particularly when you talk like this. I'm not making this up, Jenny. What proof do you have that there is some... What do you call it? Some dreadful secret. Duke is willing to give up Anna Devane in order to keep it. Now, if you don't think that that's proof, I don't know what else I can tell you. Could be your imagination. What's happening to Anna and Duke is not my imagination. This secret has to be so dreadful that it would cause havoc if it came out. All right. Let's say you are correct. I am. All right. Then it's something that we should leave alone. Oh, come home with me where you can be safe. Where someday you can find true happiness. I can't. I simply can't. There's nothing more that you can say to me. 